Okay, we're going to go in and take a look at calculated columns and calculated fields. We're back in the uh, student, Blue Buffalo student, 2013, and let's go into diagram view. Let me let it refresh. Okay, just as a refresher, <clears throat> we're over here and we've got the orders table surrounded by employees, the shippers, the order details, and the customers. And we're going to add a calculated column. So I'm going to go to data view. And what we'll do is we'll do a very easy one. Uh, later on when we get into DAX, we're going to look at a lot more sophistication. But we'll just do a simple name concatenation down here. So we'll take first name and last name, and I'll click over here in the, the column. Selecting any cell, because remember when you're doing a column, a calculated column, the column recalculates for every instance of the, all the attributes, which is uh, analysis services talk meaning for every row. So all I'm going to do up here is I'm going to click here in the, in the uh, <coughs> uh, equation bar, function bar, and I'll click equals, <clears throat> and now I'm going to use drag and drop. So I'm going to take Jennifer, click on that, and we're going to app, we use the appersand, which is universal text. And I'm going to put a double quote with a space and another appersand, and if I didn't hose anything, I can now click last name and it puts that in there I'm going to click the little check Bink. <clears throat> and it's got it and we're going to change the name <clears throat> by the way you should always change the names of your data models after you're done modeling so that it fits what the user expects when they're looking at the report instead of the standard baloney that we use over on databases full name <clears throat> Oops. Da -da -da. Come on. There we go. Now there we are. Full name. Let me get off of that. And let's see if it'll pick it up. Now I want to come in here and I want to rename because I hose the A in there and make it a name. There we go. <clears throat> and there's a calculated column. Okay, let's look at another one, and I'm over on the orders table, and I'm going to add columns, so I've already clicked in here, and again, I'll go to my, my uh, formula bar, and I'll set my equals, and now I'm just going to hit I, and you know, this is called IntelliSense. This pops on up, and if, now if I double click that, it's going to write the syntax in here, and you see, as it moves through, it's going to tell me what, I, what it uh, wants. So here I'm looking for a logical test. And what I want to know is if the ship date, and I just double clicked it to add it, was greater than, I'm just going to use the greater than symbol, the required date, then I'm going to, I'm entering a comma, and now I'm going to enter a, a, a double quote, and if it was greater, uh, if the ship date was greater, I think I did that right. Then the required date, then I'm going to put down there late, double quote, comma, else, on, did I, no, no, on, stupid, on, time, and I've got to close the equation, uh, which is my close parentheses, okay, and I'll check it, and if I didn't hose anything, now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to rename it. Uh, on time late. And that's fine. You know, and you could, you'd, you'd really want to look at that, that capital A once again. Golly. Irritates me. Check it again. There you go. Syntax is fixed. So you see on time and late. So as they come through here, now if you, th if you think about that in a report, that could be a fairly interesting column. So we can come through and do a sort, you know, and we look at our report, different I items down there, we could see what was on time, what was late, et cetera. And there's a calculated column. Again, uh, when we get into DAX, you know, uh, we'll look at uh, some more uh, uh, cool things you can do within um, calculated columns. By the way, uh, I want to show you something. If you, you may run across this <clears throat> as you're uh, working within different labs, etc. Sometimes a power pivot will become less than responsive, 
And that normally hurt, works in these labs because we're remoting from one box into another, into another, into another. And sometimes you can just move to a different field and then she'll become more responsive. Or you can sit there and twiddle your thumbs for a little bit. Okay, now we're going to create some calculated fields. Uh, calculated fields were called measures in previous iterations of this product, a term that I personally prefer. Uh, because if you come in out of, out of analysis services, a measure makes a lot of sense to you. But if you don't, we'll call it a field, whatever. So all I'm going to do down here is click in a column, pink discount, and now I'm going to go over to calculations, auto sum, pull that on down, and what I want, I'm going to click average, and what I want you to do is watch down here. I'm going to click average, and there we are. Let me expand this out a little bit average of discount right now I'll click again down here and I'm gonna go auto sum and I'll go max discount so we can search for the guilty property a uh, guilty uh, person whoever gave that discount down in there and you got it I can click again down here auto sum and I could go min it's set minimum whatever it is I want to do distinct count all those others I can also create a calculated field manually. <clears throat> so if I click down here in the calculation area and then come up here into my uh, uh, formula bar, I would set this up. I can just come through and uh, set up the formula uh, bar right up in here by adding in my syntax, which would be whatever I want to call it, you know, name. And then I would come over. <clears throat> Look at that. I cannot resist. And then I would come through and I would enter a double colon. And then I would enter my formula, which we're not going to do because we're going to do that extensively when we get into the DAX. All right, and the last way to create a calculated field, if I go over to the Excel window and I go Power Pivot here under my calculations, I can pull this down new calculated field and I can pop this on up and select whatever table it is I want down here order details and then go in and I can put a description enter the code down here like this and check the formula etc again we're going to be doing this in DAX uh, extensively and that's how you would enter cancel a calculated field